Hello, welcome back to UWorld's NCLEX question of the day. I'm Caitlin, I'm a nurse here at UWorld. Let's get into our question. Our question today says, the nurse is caring for a client who is receiving sertraline. It would require follow-up if the client reports what? So here we're looking for a problematic finding, okay? Um, option one says drowsiness and fatigue. Uh, this is gonna be an incorrect option. It can happen when we start an SSRI like sertraline, but that'll improve the longer we take the medication. At first though, we do wanna avoid driving, maybe Maybe um, other CNS depressants like alcohol, those kind of things that can worsen um, that drowsiness. Option two says diaphoresis and fever. This is gonna be our correct option. Uh, it requires follow-up because these are findings of serotonin syndrome. Um, basically what happens is we have excess serotonin floating around in the brain when we're taking sertraline. That helps increase our mood, but it increases that circulating serotonin and increases those symptoms like diaphoresis, fever, agitation, tachycardia. We wanna discontinue that medication, give supportive care. This is an emergency for that client. Uh, option three is, is a decreased libido. This is gonna be an incorrect option. It is a known expected kind of side effect, um, but it does really increase the risk for noncompliance. Um, so we definitely wanna open that discussion, but it doesn't necessarily require follow-up. And then option four is weight gain. Uh, this is gonna be an incorrect option as well. Clients can experience weight gain or weight loss with SSRIs, um, another big reason for noncompliance, but it's not life-threatening. Uh, so our correct option for today is option two.